What's up, y'all? It's Rob. We're back in the shop here at Biltwell. I've got a 2018 Harley Davidson Softail on the lift, and today we're going to talk about installation of our LumaCore grips on throttle by wire. As you can see, we've already removed our original grips and we have our clamshells loose, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into the install of our LumaCore grips. All right, the tools you're going to need for this install are a T25 Torx, a T27 Torx, a half inch wrench, 3 16 Allen, some blue Loctite, and some anti seize. Once you've got your old grips removed, go ahead and take some contact cleaner and wipe down both ends of your bars. The reason we are cleaning our bar ends before we install the new ones is to remove any grease, glue, grime, any contaminant that may interfere with the installation and function of your new grips. We're going to start with our clutch side Alumacore grip. First thing we're going to want to do is remove this end cap from the grip before we install it. And the way you do that is just push it out and this little wedge just takes a little bit of uh, encouragement to slide out. You see it came out real easy right there. Sometimes it may be inside the grip and this lip will catch. If that's the case, just wiggle a little bit, it'll come right out. Once you have your bar end wedge mechanism removed from your Alumacore grip, there's one thing we need to do before the installation. We need to have this nylock properly installed on the end of this bolt. Now you can see here, this nylock is just finger tight. I want this nylock to where at least one thread from this bolt is exposed. So just take your 3 16 Allen and your half inch wrench and tighten that nylock until at least one thread is exposed. Just like that. Now the reason we have this nylock on the end of this system is so that none of these components loosen up and get lost on the inside of your bar. All right, now that you've got your wedge mechanism set up and ready for installation, the next thing we're gonna do is install the grip. Now you'll notice on this grip, you've got two different ODs. This bigger side is gonna nest and cradle into the bottom of the clamshell. So slide it on, remove the top part of the clamshell, slide the Illumicore grip on, make sure the bigger part of that moon shape sits towards the bottom of the clamshell. You can see right here, you're gonna want it just like that. Put the top part of the clamshell on, hold it together, and you can see how it needs to nest right in there. Once you got that on there, take your Torx bit bolt, Go ahead and tighten down the Torx bolts on the clamshell. Now that you have your Lumicore grip buttered up against the bar and the clamshell properly tightened, we're going to go ahead and install our wedge mechanism. Now, before you install the wedge mechanism, make sure that the wedge is seated against each other and the nut is captured in there. If you have this super loose, it's just going to spin in the bar end. So we've already got this going. Go ahead and slide it in. Make sure it seats completely. And then take your 3 16 Allen and tighten. And that's it. All right, first thing we want to do before we install our throttle side Alumacore grip is we want to make sure that our fly-by-wire mechanism is properly clocked into the end of the bar. As you can see here, it has slipped out a little bit, and that happened when I removed the original grip. So you'll notice on the bar, it's got what we call a castle, and it only indexes one way. So find that and make sure it sits in there, as you can see. One thing I like to do when installing throttles on bars is I like to put a little bit of anti-sieves to help with the smooth operation. You don't want a lot, just a little bit. Just get a little bit on there 
and then kind of smear it because you don't need a lot of this stuff. I also like to put anti-seize right here on the inner flange where it rests in the clamshell. And all this does is aid in keeping anything from binding. Now that you've got everything lubed and ready for installation, make sure that your throttle by wire mechanism is properly indexed in the end of the bar. And then go ahead and slide your grip on. Now, when you slide your grip on, you're gonna feel these little knurls matching up with the broached end inside the grip. Feel for that. Once you feel that engagement, that positive engagement, go ahead and give a little pressure, slide it on there, and there you go. Now that you've got your grip properly installed and indexed on the end of the fly-by-wire mechanism, go ahead and take your clamshell, lay it over on top, your torx bolt, drop it in there, get some thread started. Don't fully tighten it just yet. Take your bottom one, get it started, and go ahead and tighten those clamshell pods. Once you've got your clamshells tightened, just give a quick check of operation. Everything should be friction-free and smooth operating. That looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the end cap on our throttle side Illumicore grip. Before we do that, put a little bit of blue Loctite on the thread there. You don't need much. Go ahead and install it with your 3 16 Allen wrench. If you choose to safety wire your grips, we've already got grooves in those grips to make it easy for you. That's it. That's how you install a Lumicore grips on a throttle by wire Harley Davidson. Before you hit the road, please check all your bolts that you loosened and retightened in this installation, as well as the proper function of your throttle. Thanks, y'all.